for me as an immigrant, for me as a black man, as an openly gay man, there there is a sense of living life with urgency. We don't have, I think really for everyone, for women, I think we are a state where anyone can relate to to all the things that are happening around the world, around the country, especially with the LGBTQ community, with all the attacks, there is a sense of urgency that we need to do something now. We need to act now. And so whenever that urgency shows up, and not to say that I'm all over the place, I try to really focus and have an impact and make sure that impact is deep and, and that it's really helping out folks. But when the urgency shows up, that means we have to show up and do the work, right? I moved to the United States 12 years ago, um, having to really put myself to college and find resources for myself. So I became someone who a lot of people would come to for resources. So as a result of that ask, of that need, I always needed to know more what's available so that by extension, I, I could help more people. Uh, and that led me into the public health space. And, and I learned in public health, you need policy. So that led me into politics. But really throughout COVID, I had some time to think about what I really wanted to do, what really brought the fire in me and the passion into me. That was storytelling and that was creativity. That was the arts. And I've always known that the arts or creativity has an ability to bring people together, to engage people. I want the same social issues or political issues that sometimes they would really be at war. You could really bring people into a space to experience the arts, to experience um, creativity, and these two different groups of people could be on very different sides side of an issue, but when they come in that space, they are able to connect, they are able to engage. And so to me, that's something I value about the arts. And I know it, it has a vital role in bringing people together, people of different creeds, different backgrounds, different lived experience. And so I really focus on that and, I, and I'm utilizing that to bring people together. It's always been for me, what needs to happen now? What do we need to do now to solve our most critical issues? That has always led me into this different path. But now I am in a space where I really feel like the odds, not feel, I know for certain that the odds can bring people together. And through the odds, we can have difficult conversations and explore solutions together and, and be being able to relate to one another.